How are you doing? I do hope that you are fine. Well, we are going to continue our discussion and this time we are going to cover one of the research design and that is experimental research design. Are you ready? Let's get it done. In order to have a full understanding of what is experimental research design, then you need to be very clear with these terms. For example, the type of variables, the type and constructing hypothesis. the validity and reliability, inferential statistics and testing hypothesis, and the techniques of taking the sample. Otherwise, it will be hard for you to understand or to conduct a research in terms of experimental research design but no need to be worried I also cover these terms in my English learning videos well if you want to have a clear understanding of what is experimental research design, try yourself how you will get the answer to these questions and take your time. For example, number one, does X significantly affect on the student's vocabulary achievement? Just for example, X is a kind of teaching method then does it significantly affect on the student's vocabulary achievement? What will you do to answer this question? An example number two. Does X cure headache? X here means a kind of medicine. Then, if you want to know whether X cures headache, what do you think that you will do? And this is the third question. Does sleeping hour influence on concentration? Sleeping hour means the length of time to sleep. So, does any length of time influence on concentration? If you want to answer these questions validly, then you need to conduct a research under experimental design. Then what is experimental research design? Experimental research design focuses on examining the causal relationship of variables. The causal relationship of variables means whether a variable affects or gives influence to the other variable. The variable which gives the effect is termed as independent variable. 
while the variable which is being affected is termed as dependent variable then how much or how many is the effect then the researcher analyzes it in terms of testing hypotheses or by applying inferential statistics and the second focus of experimental research design is to test or to prove theory for example you don't believe whether the theory is applicable in an area or let's say you want to prove it then in order to have the answer whether it is applicable or not then you will conduct an experimental research design it means you will do an experiment based on this then the purpose of this research is to accept or to reject theory back to the focus of this research when you want to prove whether a theory is applicable or not in an area then when it is you accept the theory while when it isn't you reject the theory the second purpose of this research it provides practic practical solution to problem faced by an organization a firm a society individual and etc in other words i can say that researcher conducts an experimental is to find solution to a problem faced by society back to our example does x significantly affect on the student's vocabulary achievement how will we answer this question then just for general steps this question can be answered by following this process for example you as the researcher in order to answer this question firstly you need to identify the variables and construct hypothesis relating to this question then the independent variable or the causal is the x once again just suppose that x is a type of teaching method then the independent variable of this question is the student's vocabulary achievement why because we want to find out whether x affects on the student's vocabulary achievement then relating to constructing the hypothesis for example we may state the hypothesis for null hypothesis we can say that there is no significant effect of x on the student's vocabulary achievement and for the alternative hypothesis we may state that there is a significant effect of 
X on the student's vocabulary achievement. Next, you need to review the literature, especially relating to X, the teaching method. Why? Because that is that you are going to apply or to give or to treat the students in the class, for example. So, you as the researcher, you have to be sure or you have to be clear and have a full understanding of X. Otherwise, that will be a big problem when you come to the result of your research. And then you need the sample because this is experimental research design. Then the way the sample is chosen or taken must be by random sample. So in this case, you may apply simple random sample to take or to have the sample. After that, you divide the sample into two groups. One of them is identified as experimental group, while the second one is control group. After that, again, here you need to get the data. The first data is by administering pretest. Pretest is a test before treatment. It means you need to get preliminary data before you conduct an experiment or a treatment. Now we may apply the X or the teaching method, but this teaching method is only given for the experimental group. The question is, what about the control group? Do, does they have a treatment? Yes, they have it, but one point that you need to know they don't have X. The treatment that they may have, it can be conventional method. And having finished applying the teaching method or X, now you give them post-test. So post-test is a kind of test after treatment or after finishing teaching them with the teaching method and this is it you now analyze the data once again because this is experimental research design then the data needs to be analyzed in terms of inferential statistics or by t-test and then you test the hypothesis and finally you draw the conclusion you draw the conclusion to answer the question for example based on our the hypothesis there are only two answers for that question the first answer is there is no a significant effect of X on the student's vocabulary achievement and in relation to the alternative hypothesis then the answer is there is a significant effect of X on the student's vocabulary achievement so this will be known by the inferential statistics or by t-test Just for example, that 
the result of the treatment or the research is there is a significant effect of X on the student's vocabulary achievement but you need to consider these questions when you say that there is a significant of X on the student's vocabulary achievement my question is is it merely because of X I mean what about the extraneous variable extraneous variable is a variable which may act as the independent variable it means it may influence the result of your research for example while you conduct your research out of your control the sample also has another treatment in an area or for example in a course there they learn vocabulary so the question when you have the post test is it because you teach them by X or because they have a learning in a course without your realization it means you don't know that in other words that is out of your control so be careful with this question and the second question is how is its validity and reliability are you sure with them so think about these questions well I know that our explanation is just surface it means that's only a trigger for you of how to understand an experimental research design in fact we still need to learn some terms relating to that design for example the validity reliability the techniques of choosing the sample or taking the sample and etc for that okay in the next video you need to learn validity reliability and the techniques in choosing or taking the sample keep in touch with me it means by watching my videos bye bye